How many songs do you know about the sun? I think of The House of the Rising Sun, Let the Sun Shine, The Itsy Bitsy Spider, and with the eclipse just a few days behind us, I know that we all are kind of a little obsessed sometimes with things that are happening in heavenly places. And I'm reminded once again that our physical reality is an invitation from God to explore spiritual realities. Welcome back to The Weekend Well. I'm glad you're here. The place that you come each week to intentionally create your personal wellness goals for the coming week. Last week we began talking about one of my absolute favorite topics, wellness foundations. Now, why is it one of my favorite topics? It's because they're so simple. They are easy wins that often cultivate in people a sense of accomplishment. They come from a place of simply know better, do better. They don't cost us money, but they do cost us some time and planning. And we say here in Arkansas, get after it. Did last week inspire you to keep from getting parched physically and spiritually? I find myself often standing in the fridge waiting for my water to get filled up and thinking, why the mess is this so slow? It drives me a little crazy. But I was challenged this week as I thought about what we talked about last week to maybe shift it up. If I'm having to stand there waiting for that water to pass through the filter in the fridge and fill me up, maybe I should be doing the same thing for my soul. Asking the Lord, Lord, what needs to be refilled in my soul right now? What would you have me to notice about my feelings or my priorities in this moment? What would you have me to release? What would you have me to receive, to strengthen me for this day, this moment, this calling, this task? But that was so last week. So I guess those questions are just bonus expansion packs for those of you who want more. But let's talk about this week's Wellness Foundation. Simple, free, most of the time, highly impactive on our well-being. Mental health research reveals that January 24th is the most depressing day of the year, and February is the worst month for all kinds of depression, especially a particular variety called Seasonal Affective Disorder, or SAD for SAD. Why? Because we don't get enough sunlight. Like a plant, you too need sunlight to thrive, grow, and just be your best self. Side note, please aware if you have little people in your life that they still have just as many emotions as you do. They're human. And just as you are learning to grow and how to understand and process your emotions, you have a special place to honor their emotions and teach them the way to do these things. So tread lightly and be mindful to love and support them, just like the real Jesus is doing for you. Perhaps you're thinking, but Rachel, not everybody suffers from depression, so why is this a wellness foundation? Well, you may not have depression, but what we have learned from people who do experience depression like SAD is that sunlight directly impacts our mood. In fact, it impacts our experience of serotonin, that hormone in your body that makes you happy. Serotonin gives you more energy, helps you to be calm, positive, and focused. Sunlight is so important that doctors sometimes treat depression like SAD with forms of natural or artificial light therapy. You got to let in the sunlight. Sunlight doesn't just impact hormone levels like serotonin. It's actually the only way that our bodies can produce vitamin D. And if you've been around for the last four years, you know we've had a crazy emphasis on the value of vitamin D in supporting our immune systems and protecting us from all kinds of disease. In fact, we're learning more and more about that as we go. The best way to get your vitamin D is to be outside for 15 to 20 minutes as early in the day as possible. Your skin and your eyes take those sunlight waves in and tell your body to make that vitamin D. Now, this isn't new science. This article from 2013 in PubMed about sunlight and vitamin D tells us that vitamin D plays an important role in regulating calcium and phosphate metabolism for maintenance of metabolic functions and for skeletal health. It goes on to tell us here highlighted, D influences a large number of biologic pathways, which may help explain association studies relating vitamin D deficiency and living at higher latitudes with increased risk of many chronic diseases, including 
autoimmune diseases, some cancers, cardiovascular disease, infectious disease, schizophrenia, and type two diabetes. Wow, so much from one little vitamin, which makes me wonder just how much we do not know about all the other nutrients and what a vital role they play in our overall health and wellness. Sunlight also dislodges parasites, disinfects, deodorizes, and makes us radiant. It gives us that healthy glow. Ironically enough, on the day I'm recording this in Arkansas, we do not have sun. It's cloudy and overcast, and while I typically love these rainy day vibes, I'm just not feeling it today. But I do have good news. Even though there's not a lot of sunshine out there today, the diffused light that's there will still help your body to create vitamin D. Just like you still need sunscreen on cloudy days, you can still get out and get your vitamin D production going. But as I pause here to fill my water bottle at the fridge, I can still feel that this gray day is still making me feel a little funky, unmotivated, and just yuck. Which actually makes this a perfect day for me to talk about what to do with the funk. What do I mean by the funk? Well, do you find yourself just resisting actually doing the things? Getting mentally lost or distracting yourself by doing other things? <laughs> Welcome to Funkland. I do not recommend the extended stay. I choose to break up with the funk anytime I notice it creeping in by choosing to reattach to the real Jesus by using breath work, visualization, and aromatherapy. Now, my favorite anti-funk essential oil is called Joy. And the way that you use this is you put one drop in your hand, then you cup your hands over your nose and breathe in for four seconds, hold for seven seconds, and exhale for eight, like this. Of course, that was a little bit quicker than what you would actually do. Now, Joy helps to reset your amygdala and release the funk. More videos on that later. I also like to meditate on the sweetest affirmation based on Psalms 1611. In God's presence, I find fullness of joy. Now, this is actually just one of the oils in the Great Day Protocol for Believers that I utilize every day. And if you'd like to know more about that, I'll put a link in the description. This alone, just joy, is a solid rebuke to emotional funk. But you could try the whole thing and even see what more benefits you find. But what about some of those other benefits of sunlight or letting the sun in to your life? Like the other kind, he also can dislodge parasites. Stinking thinking is immediately what comes to my mind. The trap of believing the lies that the enemy wants to tell us and to sow into our souls and then playing them on repeat versus 2 Corinthians 10, 5, which tells us to take every thought captive and bring it under the governing authority of Jesus Christ. Now, this is war, is what that tells me. And we must be rid of these parasites of stinking thinking. We must learn to swap the talk and replace them with God's truth. The sunlight is also a disinfectant. Psalm 51 says, wash away my sins, cleanse me. And it even talks about creating a clean heart. As believers, we know that Jesus's blood washes away our sin and establishes a position of right standing with God for a God the sun light also deodorizes. And 2 Corinthians 2, 15 through 16 says, for we are the aroma of Christ to God among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. To one, a fragrance from death to death. To the other, a fragrance from life to life. Who is sufficient for these things? I pray as believers that we are deodorizing the hopeless environments that surround us in the world with the fresh breath of love, joy, and peace, the breath of our Savior, Jesus Christ, in our places and our spaces. And lastly, and probably my most favorite, is the fact that sunlight makes us radiant. We can have a very healthy glow. Now, radiance is just a word that I love and the glowing beauty even that it embodies. Do you know that you will never be more attractive, more radiant than when you've been spending time in the presence of Jesus? The simple effect of being in his presence is radiance beyond comprehension. 
Psalm 34, 5 tells us, those who look to him are radiant and their faces shall never be ashamed. I'm kind of a but how girl. And that takes us back actually to Psalm 34, 4, which says, I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fear. I want you to think about in your mind's eye what a person who is living with fear, what their countenance looks like. And then I want you to remember that God is perfect love and he casts out fear. So as we take the time to stand in his presence, we are lit up with Jesus's love and light. Which brings us quite conveniently to your weekend wellness challenge. How do you get more sunlight or, and sunlight into your life? Well, I'm glad you asked. You got to have a plan. Number one, physically get outside for 15 to 20 minutes each day. Lay in a hammock, take a walk, swing, do whatever you want. I'm sending you to recess, go play. Set a sunshine reminder on your phone or an alarm. Now, I don't need one because my dog reminds me every day that we're going out or the chickens or the horses. Anyway, some of us don't need reminders, but if you do, use that phone for your help. And number two, get to the sun. Work on your sun tan. Soak him up so much that you are absolutely astoundingly radiant. Every time the funk tries to creep in, use joy to reconnect to Jesus as you get in his presence to realign. Maybe while you're taking a sip of that physical water, you're reminded once again to reconnect spiritually to him for all of your thirst needs as well. Use the Great Day Protocol for Believers tool that I've linked in the description to set yourself up for success daily. Let him create in you a clean heart that finds delight only in being satisfied by him. Which are you going to prioritize this week? I hope both because as I mentioned last week, sunshine precedes insane growth. And just like the plants around here, Mm, you need you some sunshine to let the sun light and the sunlight in this week. Get ready to grow wellness as you know better and do better. And I'll see you here next week for the Weekend Well.